Wow, this is this is a video from Channel Seven. This is Buffalo downtown. What a freaking nightmare! From what I understand, this car was abandoned. Look at that. Left on Church and Franklin. Wow. Hello world, it is your Uncle Heavy. Today I'm on location in the garage of my house. It's actually Saturday, December 24th. I'm normally on my holiday hiatus at this time, not making videos, but making an exception today because I needed to go out there and show everybody here what's happening in Buffalo right now. We are in the midst of a really bad blizzard and it's insane. We've been basically trapped indoors for two days now and it doesn't look like there's any hope of us getting out anytime soon. I wouldn't even go so far as to leave the house normally, but I need to go check and see if my furnace vent is clear. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take you all with me <laughs> and show you what it looks like in my house. No tickets required today. Let's go see what kind of trouble I hopefully don't get into. Do come along. This is what our back slider to our deck is looking like right here. You can see the snow is this high up. So the snow is just completely covering the glass here. You can't, you can't even see outside. Maybe if I put the camera right here, you can kind of see what's going on out there. But this is, this is just insane. Another example, this is my back window to my kitchen. You can see there's like three inches of snow piled up in the window jam itself. And, and the window is just, it's completely covered with snow. Same here in the backyard. Look at all three of these windows are just completely, completely covered with snow. I can't, I can't even look out. We're going to have to see what it looks like outside. I had to actually put a blanket in front of our front door because the wind was blowing so hard and the drafts were so bad it was just freezing and and <laughs> had to do that just to stop the drafts from coming in. Oh, there's my cat hiding from the storm underneath the Christmas tree. I've got this too. This is a little weather station we have for our house. You can see it's 19 degrees Fahrenheit and it feels like two, which is an improvement because I think yesterday it went as low as minus six degrees Fahrenheit. So it's getting warmer. It's so bad out there. I have to put my ski goggles on before I go outside. It's the wind and the, and the drifting is just terrible. And here's an example of, of just how strong that wind and drift is. This is snow that has blown in from under my garage door. Look, look at, look at that. That's insane. Also, up above my garage door, you can see all the snow that's blown up on the walls. This corner here has gotten it pretty much the worst. <laughs> you could see there's like a foot of snow there blown in from the side crack of my garage door. I went and I cleared it earlier, but yeah, it's blowing on my grill in the garage here. It's... I'm not even gonna try opening the big door. I'm gonna go out that side door right there. I'm gonna basically let you experience the, the first experience with me. I don't know how good the sound is gonna be out there because it sounds really windy, but I'm gonna try filming regardless. All right, here we go. Okay, so far not too bad. I'm gonna grab a shovel, dig out the furnace. Whew. So far it's not too windy and not a terrible drift right there. But this is what's amazing about these drifts is that, look, this side of the house, you can still see grass blades sticking out. But let's come over here. Look at the size, look at the size of this snow berm right here. So my driveway is completely clear. We've got this mess in front of my garage door for height. Yeah, there's my boot for height. But we've got this. Incredible. Yeah, 
yeah, there's my front step and my front door. That is insane. Incredible. You're probably just seeing a bunch of white. But yeah, look at the screens. Should have taken these screens in. But yeah, that is the co complete total whiteout that is going on right now. And I'm catching a nice, nice blast of wind. Whew. Can you even see my neighborhood? Completely buried. All right, let's try to get down the stairs without breaking anything because emergency services are temporarily on hold. But yeah, let's see if I can get a shot from back here. You can see how big that berm is. Putting that shovel in for scale, you can actually see how tall. Oh, can't see much of anything now that's completely whited out. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna go check that vent because it's, it's very cold out here. My hands are starting to numb. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how long this camera's going to stay running out here in the cold. It's below freezing. I'm going to go in the back and go clean out that vent. I'm going to go inside where it's warm. All right, walking toward the side of my house. There's my backyard. You can see, wow, the shed is almost completely bowered, buried. Yeah, there's my deck. Look at the size of that snowbird right there. I have to dig out this vent right here because this is where my furnace exhausts out. <laughs> yeah, so just want to get my deck and now my battery is dying, but that's the side of the back of my house. That's my patio door going into my kitchen and you can see how high the snow is here. Wow, this is just, this is insane. And it's very cold. So I need to dig this out and go in where it's warm. Okay, vents all nice and clear. Give you an idea of how deep it is. But uh, wow, I was out here filming before with no gloves on for just about three or four minutes. And my fingers are numb. But look, look at how high. That's my deck. That's the snow berm. That's the side of the house. This is, this is insane. This is just crazy. We have an emergency generator, but it's so cold out here. I hope we don't have to resort to firing it up. Wow. It's almost like being in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> this is my Christmas, everybody. Whew. This is my Christmas. I will maybe follow up with another video if it gets better or worse. Until then, I'll be signing off from my backyard. Hope everybody has a good, happy, healthy Christmas and a great new year. I'll begin filming once again in the new year. Be sure to stay tuned. I'll see you then. Signing off from my backyard. Bye bye.